And it came to pass that after we had gotten from them and had launched, we came with a straight course unto Kos, and the day following unto Rhodes, and from thence unto Patera. And finding a ship sailed over unto Phoenicia, we went aboard and set forth. Now, when we had discovered Cyprus, we left it on the left hand and sailed into Syria and landed at Tyre. For there, for there the ship was to unladen her burden. And finding disciples, we tarried there seven days, who said to Paul through the Spirit that he should not go in up to up to Jerusalem. And when he had ac accomplished those days, we departed and went our way. And then all brought us on our way with wives and children till we were out of the city. And we kneeled down on the shore and prayed. And when we had taken our leave on to one to another, we took ship and then returned home again. And when we had finished our course from Tyre, we came to Ptolemas and saluted the brethren and abode with them one day. And the next day there had we that were of Paul's company departed and came unto Caesarea. And we entered into the house of Philip, the evangelist, which was one of the seven, and abode with him. And the same man had four daughters, virgins, which did prophesy. And as we tarried there many days, there came from, the, from Judea a certain prophet named Agabus. And when he, when he was come unto us, he took Paul's girdle, and bound his own hands and feet, and said, Thus, thus saith the Holy Ghost, So shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the man that owneth this girdle, and shall deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. And when he, when he heard these things, both we and they of that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What mean ye to weep and to break mine heart? For I am ready not to be bound only, but also to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. And when he would not be persuaded, we, ce we ceased, saying, the, the will of the Lord be done. And after those days, we took up our car carriages and went up to Jerusalem. There went with us also certain of the disciples of Caesarea, and brought them with them one Nason of Cyprus, an old disciple who, with whom we should lodge. And when we, were, and when we were come to Jerusalem, the brethren received us gladly. And the day following, Paul went, up, Paul went with us into James, and all the eld elders were present. And when he had saluted them, he declared particularly what things God had wrath among the Gentiles by his missionary. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe, and they are the zealous of the law, and they are informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews among which are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses, saying that they ought not to circumcise their children, neither to walk after, this, after the customs. What is, the, what is it therefore the multitude must need come together? For they will hear that thou art come. Do therefore this that we say to thee, and have four men which have a vow on them, that them take and purify thyself, thyselves, and purify thyself with them, with them, and be charged with them, that they may shave their heads, and all may know that those things, therefore, they were informed concerned thee, are nothing, but that but thou thyself also walkest orderly and keepest the law. As touching the Gentiles, 
which believe, we have written and concluded that they observe no such thing, save only that they keep themselves from things offered to idols, and from blood, and from strangled, and from fornication. Then Paul took the men, and the next day purified himself with, the, with them, entered into the temple to signify the accomplishment of the days of purification, until that, until that an offering should be offered for every one of them. And when the seven days were almost ended, the Jews which were in Asia, were, where they saw him in the temple, stirred up all the people and laid hands unto him, crying out, Men of Israel, help! This is the man that teacheth the men every, everywhere against the people and the law, and that, and this place, and further brought Greek, Greeks also into the temple, and hath polluted this holy place. For they had seen before him, before with him in the city, Trophimus and Ephesian, whom they supposed that Paul has brought unto the temple, and all the city was moved, and the, and the people ran together. And they took Paul and drew him up into the temple, and forthwith the doors were shut. And as they, were, as they went about to kill him, tidings came unto the chief captain and of the band, that all Jerusalem was an, in an uproar, who immediately took soldiers and centurions and ran down unto them. And when they said to the chief captain and the soldiers, they, have, they left beating of Paul. Then the, the chief captain came near and took him and commanded him to be bound with two chains, and demanded who he was, and what he has done. And some cried one thing, some another, among the multitude, and when he could not know the, the certainty of the, tumult, of the tumult, he commanded him to be carried into the castle. And when he came upon the stairs, so it was, that he was born of the soldier for the violence of the people. For the multitude of the people followed after, crying, Away with him! And Paul was to be led into the castle. He said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? Who said, Canst thou speak Greek? Art not thou the Egyptian, which before these days madest an uproar, and ledest out into the wilderness for four thousand men that were murders? But Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew of Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, a citizen of no mean city, and I beseech, beseech thee, suffering me to speak unto the people. And when he had given him license, Paul stood on the stairs and beckoned with the hand unto the people. And when there was made a great silence, he spake unto them in Hebrew tongue, saying,